reality is your your family lineage is actually you don't that it's no. basically your family tree, generation to generation of who you are, who your ancestors are, you know, tracing your grandparents generation by generation. Um so we about to chop it up real quick, man. We about to chop it up real quick um, about our thoughts about the Matrix mm -hmm. and um, actually the our thoughts on the movie The Matrix and what we what we thought about and you know just kind of exchange thoughts. Um, do you want me to? I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you tell me. I'm gonna let you tell me what you got from the movie. What what you can remember from the movie? Were there any thoughts you had like before the movie? Before? Um, no, not really. Cause like I Could said you? before, when I watched it years ago, um, it was just about the the action and the cool tricks and stuff like that. So I really didn't understand it or see the deeper meaning behind it but yeah um, so that's why i didn't want to watch the movie that's why i didn't want to watch i purposely didn't want to watch the matrix because i knew it was deeper than a movie yeah we got movies out here <laughs> that are not just movies like mm -hmm. they tell you a lot of shit you know what i'm saying but you 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 have to be at a certain level of consciousness to get it right so mm -hmm. i purposely didn't want to watch the matrix but when i would tell people my thoughts on how i felt about living here on this earth and how i felt about shit that's going on on this earth um they would always tell me man the way you talk you would you need to watch the matrix you would love the matrix you know what i'm saying so i purposely didn't want to watch the movie because I, i'm not good at retaining information and sometimes i just feel like some things go right over my head you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, I purposely didn't want to watch the movie until recently. Until recently. I'm going to just ask you, what did you get from, what were some things you got from the movie? Okay, well, um, watching a movie, I noticed that Neo actually go through these different phases. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first phase was the dreaming phase. He's dreaming, he's sleeping, um, but that question is in his mind, like, what is the Matrix or? Right. So, you know, just the movie itself, while he's dreaming, he the computer brings up, um, it searches Morpheus. And Morpheus is the god of dreams. Mm. See? So, I, didn't, I didn't catch none of that. <laughs> yeah, he's the god of dreams. So, um, and then, you know, Trinity, she gets up there and types, wake up wake up Neo and then he wakes up so um, at this point in the movie it's hard for him to distinguish whether he's still dreaming or he's awake hmm. when he goes to the door and answers the door um, he's asking the, the guy or saying like have you ever felt like I forgot what did he say but Anyway, he said, it sounds like you need to unplug. And at that point, I'm like, okay, that's a little sign you need to unplug from the Matrix. Right. Wake up. Um, but the next phase is the reconstruction. No, the destruction phase. Mm -hmm. So he has to unlearn everything that he's been taught or told in the Matrix. Wow. So is this the, this the baby stage we're talking about? Is this one... This is when he finally meets Morpheus and decides to take that red pill. So this is the unlearning everything. Yeah, he's oh. unlearning right now. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, so gotcha. once he take that red pill, you know, it his body it goes through I don't know what that little silver stuff that comes off is tearing down the matrix, what he thought was reality. Hmm. He's it's tearing down, it's coming down, they find his body and all that good stuff. Now, when he actually starts learning, fighting um, Morpheus, that is the reconstruction phase. Mm -hmm. And what what did he say? Now, mind you, um, I'm just speaking to the camera just mm -hmm. in case we, you know, somebody else exists. Mm -hmm. I've only seen this movie one time. 
I've never seen this movie before. So some of the things she's saying, I'm trying to remember in my head mm -hmm. um, because I've never seen the movie. I only seen it one time and I'm going off of what I saw the first time or what I can remember um, before I watch it again. Um, but go ahead. So yeah, yeah, I remember that when, so when he started fighting Morpheus is when he started to <clears throat> um, start over again. Right, basically, yeah, that's the construction phase. And Morpheus says, "Yeah, I, I didn't think about none of this. Like really? so far, so far, I, this is this is dope. This is dope. Like Ooh. this is dope." Oh, what did he say? <clears throat> oh, when they're fighting before they begin to fight, mm -hmm. Morpheus says, "I don't need you to think." He said, "Don't think he you are. No. Know you are." Yeah. At that point, that's right. <laughs> don't think, don't just believe, don't just believe, right? No, right, right, no, who are you, right? Right, yeah. right, and right. you know, don't by think him thinking, you, you know, he's already he's just fresh coming out of the matrix, like all he knows is the matrix. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he's gonna think like the matrix, but then no. the, the next phase is the self knowledge phase, that's when he goes and meet the oracle and. Mm -hmm. To find out if he's the one, and she say, "Nah, you're not the one." Mm -hmm. But throughout the whole movie, everybody's expecting this man to be the one, but he doesn't. You know, he just hears, "Oh, you the one. You go do this, and that." But he doesn't believe it himself. Right. So by her saying, "Nah, you're not the one," she's basically saying, "You don't even know yourself. So how can you be the one?" So okay. find yourself, mm -hmm. and then. Yeah, right. but I think the Oracle, she's really, uh, she's that person, that choice. Like you have a, there, there are choices. I, I can't explain it, but, um, and then the fifth um, phase is the doubt phase. Like with him jumping yeah. over the thing, he yeah. didn't believe in himself. That's why he didn't make it, right. but he failed. So you he, know, thought he, he thought he thought he, he did. Thought he he was, thought, yeah. But when he, with him falling, so did you notice as he jumped, as he jumped, he looked down. Yes. While he was in the, yeah. in the air, yeah. And at that point is when he failed. Yeah. Yeah. And even so, at the window when he was leaving the office, his his job or whatever, and he was like, "Ooh, like his fear is falling." Oh, um, I didn't peep that. <laughs> so I mean, that doubt. Huh. Didn't peep that either. Got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And belief. When he started believing himself and actually, you know, doing his little thing and actually becoming the one. But at some point, when they gave him the red pill and uh, Trinity says he's about to go under arrest or something like that, like a cardiac arrest or whatever, mm -hmm. um, he almost died. And then he woke up in the little, his, the actual reality plugged up into the little things. I felt like he died and that was a rebirth to the next level. Mm. Also, at the end, when he got shot by um, the agent, yeah. he died. But Trinity kissed him. And that was his next level. That's when he actually became the one. But Trinity, uh, I think she represents the little Holy Spirit, the three. And even yeah. Morpheus. Um, Neo and Trinity herself. Morpheus is the father. Uh, Neo mm -hmm. is the son. Trinity the Holy Spirit. Yeah, she's called Trinity for a reason. Yes. When they make she these is. movies, when they make these movies, it's I've learned that you have to pay attention to everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think in a lot of these religions, in a lot of these religions, um, there is like a trinity type thing, you know what I'm saying, with all of them. Like, you know what I'm saying, or at least a, 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 the, the most popular ones. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, you know, like I said, this is my first time ever watching this movie. So um, it's a lot I'm probably going to miss. That's why I want to go back and watch it again. Um, it's a lot, man. It's, it's a lot. Um, So... As far as me, right? Okay, so let let me tell. Okay, so 
let me rewind. Yes, rewind. In my thought, this is long before I seen the movie. Okay. Long before I seen the movie, like you know. So let me take you to how I got to actually feeling like I can now watch the movie. Mm -hmm. So give me a second. This might take a little second, right? So recently, I was writing this song called "The Matrix," right? Mm -hmm. And it basically it's a, it's talk. The song is basically talking about prayer. Does prayer really work? You know what I'm saying? Does it really work? Mm -hmm. In my eyes, I had to wake up and say, no. We're actually tricking ourselves in our minds to feel good. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? To feel good. Mm -hmm. The Matrix talks about the blue pill, the red pill. Mm -hmm. The blue pill. You could take the blue pill, wake up in your bed, and continue believing whatever you believe. Right. I call it the pretty lie. Uh -huh. Blue pill, pretty lies. Red pill is the truth. In the movie, he says, I offer you nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. This red pill is nothing but truth. Now, when we talk about truth, truth don't always come pretty. Right. It don't always come pretty. Mm -hmm. So I call truth. I call the red pill the ugly truth. The ugly truth people don't want to face. People don't want to look at the ugly truth. They would rather take the blue pill and deal with the pretty lies. Mm -hmm. So as I'm writing this song, I'm realizing we're dealing with a bunch of pretty lies. We've been dealing with a bunch of pretty lies yeah. for a long, 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 long time. Mm -hmm. Pretty fucking lies. Yeah. Yeah. And we're scared to face the ugly truth. So let's look at the pretty truth. This is me writing this song, right? In my head, as I'm breaking this shit down, I start to think, how long has people been praying, right? How long have people been praying, right? And then I start to think about the things people pray for. You know what I'm saying? Now, you're not gonna, I'm a preacher's kid. I grew up in the church. Heard many pastors pray. Mm -hmm. I've heard many pastors pray for the world. I've heard them pray to evil away. I heard them pray sickness, uh, get rid of sickness. I've heard all of these prayers. So you're not going to tell me in my life, I'm the only one that heard these prayers. Mm -hmm. You're not going to tell me my parents and their pastor friends were the only ones praying these prayers. We can pull up YouTube videos right now of mm -hmm. national prayer days mm -hmm. where they're praying for the whole world, right? Mm -hmm. This is me writing this song because I was told the definition of insanity is to keep doing something over and over again with no results, no change, right? So I started looking at this shit and I started saying, hey man, at what point does this not become some type of mental illness? Mm -hmm. I mean, especially for adults especially for adults. I'm not going to so much say young, impressionable minds because they're young, impressionable minds. Yeah. But when you become an adult and able to think, right, all of this, right, and, and use common sense, all of that, I have to say, at what point does this not become some type of mental illness? Because you are willingly, purposely tricking your own self in the mind mm -hmm. to feel good. You will make excuses in your own fucking head of why something didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I mean, this has been going on for generations and generations and generations okay. and centuries and centuries yeah. and centuries and centuries, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go to, let's go to the shit people say about prayer. Prayer changes things. Mm -hmm. Prayer is powerful, right? Yeah. Um, pray and ask God for what you want, and he will answer your prayers. All of this. Mm -hmm. These are claims I've been hearing all my life. Yeah. All my life now. All my life, right? I'm reading Bible verses where anything you ask in my name, I shall do, I will do. Okay, so at some point, there's like four or five, five different Bible verses that say these things, right? So, at some point, I have to say, hmm, there's a lie somewhere. Yeah. 
Either this book is lying or these gods don't exist. Hmm. Man. Blue pill, red pill. Which one is it? Which one are we dealing with? Either this book is lying or these gods just don't exist. Or there's some fucked up ass gods. There's some fucked up ass gods that they do exist. So, remember, I'm writing this song, right? So now, in my head, I'm dealing with blue pill, red pill. Blue pill, red pill, right? And I'm thinking about prayer. And I'm thinking, 4,200 different estimated religions practiced on this planet, yeah. around this world. Mm -hmm. All of these guys, all of these different guys, and people's been praying forever. Yeah. Nobody can show me where prayer has collectively changed the world positively. Yeah. You can't tell me where prayer has changed the world positively as a collective, right? But I also always hear people tell me about how their God showed up for their yeah. personal yeah. prayers. They talk to God. God seems to show up only for personal testimonies that nobody yeah. else can verify. Mm -hmm. But when you pray for the world collectively, right? When you pray for the world collectively, these gods never show up anywhere. They're, ne they're never nowhere to be found where the masses can say, whoa, that was a miracle. Right. That was, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. These gods never show up collectively to show us that these gods exist. Now, listen, I walk very slow. I, I, I rewind and I walk very slow, right? I'm looking at evil. Now, according to Christianity, Isaiah 45, 7, the God of this Bible created evil. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. But what I have to start to think is, maybe this guy bit off a little more than he controlled. Right? Like, maybe this guy fucked up creating evil. Because maybe this guy should have left evil where the fuck evil was at. Doing whatever the fuck evil was doing, wherever the fuck evil was at doing it. Because it seems every sense evil was created. Because remember, this God made peace first. Yeah, he did. So peace was here first. Mm -hmm. But he decided to create some shit called evil. Mm -hmm. Now, when I look at this shit, nigga, evil came out the motherfucking womb, hit the ground running. On niggas. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? From day one, since that motherfucker was created, that motherfucker hit the ground running and ain't looked back and said, fuck you, God. Fuck you. Thank you for creating me. Fuck you, motherfucker. I'm finna fuck shit up. This is what evil say. I mean, that's how evil would talk, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's how evil would talk, I would think. <laughs> this motherfucker got created and was like, yeah, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. I'm nigga, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So, I have to think. These gods can't seem to handle evil. Maybe this God, these gods fucked up creating evil. Because evil is shitting on everybody since it was created, right? Yep. Since we know evil to be here. So much to the fact that a God had to fucking flood the earth. Yep. Not all. And evil still fucking stood through that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying, see, I walk slow. <laughs> I walk slow. Like, you can't keep selling this shit to me and me not fucking question this shit, right? Mm -hmm. So much that a God fucking flooded the whole earth. Not because of good shit going on. Because of evil. Yeah. This nigga floods the whole fucking earth. And guess who's still here? After he flooded the fucking earth. This evil made this God need a do-over. If this God is perfect, why would a God need a do-over? If this God is all-knowing, wouldn't this God know if I create evil, this evil is going to do this shit? Yeah. Like sure, somebody's man. lying somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, so this is me writing this fucking song, right? Mm -hmm. Blue pill, pretty lie. Red pill, ugly truth. We've been 
swallowing this motherfucking blue pill for a long, long fucking time. People would not admit that shit. We've been swallowing this blue pill for a long fucking time. It was so much that came to me as I'm writing this song. I started looking at all kind of shit, man. Like, all kind of shit. But the main thing right now, right at this stage, is blue pill, red pill. Mm -hmm. Pretty lie, ugly truth. This is where I'm at in my head as I'm writing, right? Because I'm thinking about prayer and I'm thinking about COVID and shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, damn, COVID is kicking ass around this motherfucker. Yeah. Nigga, AIDS is kicking ass around this motherfucker. Nigga, evil is kicking ass ass around this motherfucker where is these guys at where is it so let's just put a face on these motherfuckers right mm -hmm. if you had to say right if you had to say whose face you seen more whose face would you say you have seen more evil have you seen the face of evil or have you seen the face of god more so i'm writing this shit and i said nigga we see the face of evil every fucking day. Yeah, every day. Every day, every minute, every second on this planet, the face of evil is somewhere around this motherfucker running shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. 4,200 different estimated religious practice on this planet, and we ain't seen a face of a God in none of these religions yeah. yet. Yeah. Evil shows up and shows who he is or who she is mm -hmm. every fucking day. Niggas is around here begging and crying and pleading to these guys, and these niggas won't even show their fucking face. So I was saying, evil is so fucking bold that evil sits front and center in the house of God. Yeah. He sits front and center every fucking Sunday, every day of the week, anytime the fucking door is open, sits front and center in the house of God. Mm -hmm. Something's not adding up here. All of this praying niggas is sitting in church doing, right? All of this praying niggas is sitting in church doing every fucking day. All this motherfucking crying and hooping and hollering and snot dripping and yeah, niggas falling out and yeah, all of this shit niggas is doing. Niggas been doing this shit long before we were ever here. Mm -hmm. Praying for all this same shit. At what point... Do we start to question this shit? Like, hey man, at what point do prayer start to work? For the world. I mean, for the world. I know he showed up for you, <laughs> personally. I'm talking about for the world, collectively. At what point? Because people been praying evil away, and sickness away, and hurt and pain away forever. I can go pull up YouTube videos right now. Mm -hmm. of preachers and pastors all over the world in different languages and all of this shit trying to pray evil away, trying to pray for peace, right? Yeah. All of that shit, right? Mm -hmm. Evil still, still here. Still here. <laughs> evil still here, my nigga, like <laughs> blue pill, <laughs> red pill. This is me writing this shit. Blue pill, red pill. Nigga, you niggas can't fucking go to church. No. Because mm -hmm. evil said Stay y'all asses home. I'm going to show y'all who run this shit. Mm. You fear me more than you fear your God. Mm -hmm. You fear me more than you fear your Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your Allah. Your Muhammad. Your Most High. Mm -hmm. All of them niggas. What, what's the other names they got? Shit, Jehovah. Nigga. Any of your gods. Yeah. In any of these religions, you fear me. You fear evil more than you fear these yeah. gods. Mm -hmm. And your God ain't gonna do shit about it. If I say stay home, you stay your ass home. If yeah. I say don't go to church, damn. Um, uh, if I say stay your ass home, you stay your ass home. This is me writing this song. Now, in my head, I'm saying, where the fuck are these gods? Yeah. Where the fuck are they? It's the shit I'm saying in my fucking head. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck are these gods? At what point do these gods finally say, all right, enough is a fuck enough. Devil, devil, evil, Satan, Whatever. all the evil shit you want to cut. Mm -hmm. At what point do any of these fucking guys, any of them, start to say, hey nigga, it's trying to fuck this nigga evil up. Yeah. Now we might have created some shit, but I need y'all help. Muhammad, <laughs> Jehovah, you know what I'm saying? All of y'all niggas, everybody. everybody. Buddha, you come along too, called Martha and Krishna too. 
Get all of these niggas. We all gonna take sections of this shit. We finna fuck evil up. You mean to tell me? See, this is this, 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 blue pill, red pill, the matrix. We're in a fucking matrix. This shit's not real, nigga. Right? So, you mean to tell me none of these guys have shown up yet? None of them. To get shit straight, all of this praying, you niggas are so loyal. Loyal, loyal, loyal to to, 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 to black Jesus, Yeshua, Michael Washington, and, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, all of them. Y'all are so fucking loyal, right? Yeah. Yeah. But these niggas don't show up for you niggas collectively for the world, right? Blue pill, red pill. Which one are we swallowing here? Which one are we fucking swallowing here? Because, nigga, this blue pill, niggas been swallowing this blue pill for a long time. Very long time. Mm -hmm. And see, the shit I'm saying right now, mm -hmm. the shit I'm saying right now, it's that red pill, the ugly truth. Somebody watching this right now is in their feelings right now. Of course. They're in their fucking of feelings course. right now. <laughs> they feel I'm being disrespectful. Oh, yeah, you believe what you want to believe. Mm -hmm. How you, 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 you know. mm -hmm. I'm just saying, let's walk slow. Why do you believe this shit? Because somebody told you to believe this shit, yeah. right? So this is my first, this is when I'm the Matrix shit. This is when the Matrix shit started coming to me, right? Because these are thoughts I've been had. Been had. Been had. I've been had these thoughts. And a lot more. Because I don't just follow shit. I don't mm -hmm. just follow shit. You got to make shit make sense to me. If you don't sell it to me, make it make fucking sense to me. Mm -hmm. I started looking yes. at this. So, so what I'm trying to show you is religion was first, right? In my awakening, religion was a big part of my higher self telling me, I need you to tell this truth. Tell the youth this truth. Right? Mm -hmm. So this was part of my awakening. The first part was religion. I need you to go through religion. I need you to look at all the lies. Ooh, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm trying to fast forward. I'm trying to move on in a little bit. I got to a point where I kept thinking about religion. And I'm looking at religion. I'm looking at every fucking thing in religion. And I said, you know what? I'm kind of convinced religion is here for a reason. Right? I'm kind of convinced religion is here for a reason. And with us being now in the age of information, mm -hmm. this shit's starting to make sense to me. I'm starting to believe religion is here to expose the snakes of the world. Right? Mm -hmm. It's here purposely to it's here purposely in this matrix. Mm -hmm. This is a part. Religion is a part of this matrix. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's here purposely to expose evil. It's here to expose who's evil, who are snakes. But it's also here to expose those of us who have a brain in their head and don't choose not to use it. And choose not to use it. Mm -hmm. You would rather just believe. Right? So let's go there. Now let's go to this brain. Okay. Let's say you're with religion. Cool. And you believe this God of this Bible created you. Mm -hmm. Right? Cool. I don't believe in the God's existence. So I believe however we got here, we got here. However we were fucking created, we're fucking here. But one thing I do believe is we have a conscience. And mm -hmm. we have levels of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Every time we seem to grow in knowledge, that's like us, our mm -hmm. higher self. That's a higher self of ours nudging us like, all right, you good on that level. I'm going to bring you into this level, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There's always a higher consciousness or a higher self higher than your higher self. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like every level, there's going to be another higher self. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. at this point, I said, shit. I think religion is here for a fucking reason to expose the snakes here in this matrix. But it's also here to expose who thinks, who uses their mind, all of that, right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Your God created you, right? Mm -hmm. This God, this God that created you is so fucking intelligent. This nigga so fucking beyond brilliant. Because mm -hmm. if we look outside and we look at the universe, we look at the, we yeah. look at the grass, we look yeah. at the trees, we look at sticks, we look at Everything. insects, yeah. we look at then we look at us. We look at our body, right? Just just look at how intelligently designed 
our fucking bodies and organs and shit are, right? Yeah. Right? Then, we look at this brain we have in our head, right? Mm -hmm. So, you have to give your God more credit, right? Of course. You have yeah. to give your... You can't tell me your God did all of this out here and, in, and, and intelligently designed you, and then you tell me this God gave you a book. Hmm. A book. This God wanted you to have a book. A fucking book, my nigga. Yeah. Right? A book. You think you're, that can, a book that is a limited edition <laughs> book that didn't make it around this fucking planet right. to everybody, right? If this right. is supposed to be the one and only word, mm -hmm. and this is supposed to be God's word, right? Yeah. You can't tell me this God created a limited edition book that didn't even make it to everybody, right? <laughs> Not to mention, the book has been tampered with. It's been manipulated mm -hmm. for control. Mm -hmm. So in the song, I say this. In the book, in the song, I say, why wouldn't a God protect his word from manipulation? Why would a God need a book to be manipulated? Why? Give your God more credit, right? Yeah. He's so fucking brilliant and intelligent yeah. that, and then he dumps himself down yeah. to say, oh, I want to give you my word. Oh, how do I want to give it to you? Oh, a book. I'm going to give it to you in a book. And I'm not going to put no protection on it because I want niggas to manipulate it. I want yeah. people to interpret it how they want to interpret it. <laughs> right. I'm not the author of confusion, <laughs> but I'm going to confuse the shit out of you in this book. Right. This book is full of fucking confusion. But it's my word. It's my fucking word. Come on now. Like, come on now. Like, you got to walk me slow. If you're going to sell it to me, you got to sell that shit to me good. Yeah. You got to sell that shit to me good. This is where I'm at with this matrix shit. This is the fucking matrix. This religion shit is here for a fucking reason. It's here to expose the evil motherfuckers in religion. You mean to tell me a God is sitting back? I mean, because according to y'all and y'all claims, this God is with us all. Free will. Yeah, talk that free will shit. Yeah. I will poke holes all in that free will shit. Let's talk free will real quick. Yeah. Let's talk free will real quick. Because now I have to ask you, did free will come before you were birthed into this matrix or did it come after you were birthed into this matrix? Which one? Because if you tell me it came before, right? That means you were somewhere doing something, whatever you were doing, whatever energy you was, whatever somewhere else, and this God came to you and laid it on the table to you. Hey, listen, I'm creating this world called Earth. And mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be fucked up. I'm, I'm, it's it's going to be a lot of fucked up shit. It's going to be this shit called sin and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, it's going to be fucking niggas up. I'm like, full of diseases and niggas that don't think and shit. And <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a bunch of shit. But I'm going to create this shit, right? I, you know, I might send you in that bitch as an amputee. I might send you in that bitch retarded as fuck, you know, and, and people fuck with you. I might send you in there as a little kid that gets raped and shit. And, you know, I ain't gonna do shit, though. I ain't gonna do shit, though, because I'm gonna tell motherfuckers this is some free will shit, that what they doing is free will. Fuck your free will for getting violated.